Letting you know that if you have any respect for me, what's your emotion, Matt? Rage. Is it? Because what I see is hopelessness and to not cry. Okay. Okay, but that's not it. You said it was rage. Yeah. That's not rage. Okay. Or you were playing um, pity. Mm -hmm. And do you want that to come through? Do you want the no. character to have a poor me quality? No. Woe is me. Please take care of me. My life is horrible. Mm -hmm. that, but that's what you're bringing to the scene if yeah. you give me that attitude. If it's rage and to not kill him because he's making me crazy, not literally to kill him, but you can think it. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. That guy, the one you're giving me now with an edge. You follow me? What's yeah. going on on the inside, deep, yeah. in the heart, right? Because that is what he's feeling. He is yeah. feeling terrible. He is lonely. He's sad, right? But if I just show that... It's just too obvious. It's too obvious, and the yeah. audience is going to hate you. Yeah. Because the audience doesn't like pity. Right. As Don used to say, they have all that shit at home. They want to come to the theater to escape. Yeah. They want to see you trying to be okay in the face of all the pain. Yeah. But if you just give into it, then there's nothing to root for, okay? So try it with a backbone. Is if you allow yourself to be more affected by this, yeah. like please, please don't say another word. Just don't say one more word. Yeah. Don't be my dad. You know, don't do that thing that you do. It, it should unnerve you. So when, you, when you're saying that last line, if it's raging to not kill him, what was the line you just gave him? I'm fine or whatever? I know you worry yeah, about Yeah, I know me. you worry about me. We're really so angry. it's gotten to me, if you're asking me how do I get it to that heightened place, mm -hmm. it's don't worry about me, okay? I'm fine. I'm totally okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Just relax, will you? It's all good. <laughs> you worry too much. Where are my pills? <laughs> yeah. Follow me? Yeah, 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 yeah. And what emotion are you using? There's anxiety? Um, yeah. Um, I guess like the more he acts like that kind of... Uh, I mean, it can be still be anxiety uh, because because you're losing him. Uh, yeah. Like, he doesn't hear me. He's just giving me lip service. Yeah. Okay. He's just talking. It doesn't mean anything what he's saying. You're Again, we're just talking about behavior. Yeah. Behavior he's giving me is not a guy who hears what I'm telling him. But I can only try so hard. I'm not going to say it again, okay? I've spoken my truth. At least you heard me. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So what, again, the reason it felt like a soap opera was because you delivered the lines as written. This is going against the text. Yeah. Does that help? Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel less like a soap opera now, Matt? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... To answer your question, how do I keep it from being a soap opera or a bad movie? You, you go against the grain of the material. Yeah. It's like, again, if my line is, I love you, I don't want to say, I love you. Because it's written that way. I love you. It's, I love you. I go way against. Yeah. So if you're saying that line at the end, I'm fine, don't go, I'm fine, really. Yeah. Instead, it's I'm fine, really. I'm fine. I'm good. How are you?